Hello, welcome to the Full Circle Podcast. Was it the first one of the day of the world? You're, what the fuck is good, y'all? It's your boy Buggy. My guy, Mozzie. Marty Ranson. How are you, bro? Good, good, man. How, How was the stuff? drive? Um, it was cool. It was cool. Seemed like a long one. Definitely. Took you forever. Stop that wall up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just fucked that up, bro. Yeah, <laughs> you just man. ate that shit. I saw the hot peppers on it. How was it, dude? What was it? What was on the sandwich? Um, it was one of the chicken sandwiches. It, uh, I had cheese. What kind? Chicken. I, I think American. I'm not sure. I just be going with like the recommended shit. All I care about is my pepper. That's really it. Yeah, I could. That's what I said. Oh, I, could I had see the peppers must- was on. I it. had honey mustard on it. Uh, avocado, honey mustard, roasted bread. veggies. I ain't taste too many roasted motherfucking veggies though. I had roasted veggies. Uh, Cause you had mad peppers on it. I did see onions. that was fire. I get the hot peppers on the side. Okay. And always got to get the dippy cheese. The dippy cheese. You don't know about the cheddar dippy nah, cheese? No, I know. I just don't trust it, bro. Oh no! I don't so trust good. no dipping cheese, bro. It's so good, and it's it's bad. Good. It's, 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 good that, it's good that you don't. It's good that you don't fuck with it because yeah. dippy cheese and cookies. That's my. That's where I get fucked up. Bro, bro, I had a moment. I had a moment. I was there and I tried to get like iced coffee and shit. So you know how like you get your sandwich and then when you hit um like it, it would be like add another item and shit. Mm-hmm. I went to add another item. I tried to get like one of the iced coffee shits. So I went to the they ice coffee. They just be popping up on there. Yeah. Man. So I went to the beverages. I went to the ice coffee. The, the, you know what I'm saying? The fraps and shit. And when I clicked on it, it just said warm cookie. You know what I was thinking about, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Did you get it? Fuck no, man. Oh. Fuck no. Good. Only because, well, dude, yeah. I'm proud of you. Because I was like, I was like, nah. I, it's it was, sad, but it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, I'm proud at the same time. Yeah, because it's like, it's like, all right, you either grab, like, what do you want to do right now? Because you can't be greedy and get this sandwich. Because I got the 10-inch, you know what I'm like? Mm-hmm. You can't get a whole loaf of bread and a cookie, man. It's Damn, like you fucking, you and you're not high or nothing. Like, that's just like really bad. You're dude, sober I, b- pulling I shit like that. I Wow Wow the other day like an idiot. Like, I was just so stoned, and I was like... He was down bad. Nah, because I ate, I ordered sushi right before that. <laughs> so, <laughs> I ordered sushi, and then an hour later, I was like, damn, I do want a sweet. So, like, I kind of ordered for the cookie, but I got mac and cheese, too. So, yeah. So, what have you been up to, dude? What have you been fucking working on, bro? I know you're making mad shit, but... Last time we really talked, it was, it was the blue. Is that where we're at? Blue, the vibe. Look at your face. <laughs> I was like, what? When we were ta- the vibe we were talking about last time, we were taking some pictures and shit mm. of your projects. Oh, Is he called that shit the blue. Is it the blue? <laughs> Is it the blue? The blue aura. It's ultra, man. What the fuck? Oh, he, called, he called that shit the blue. Dude, apparently hey, yeah. Blue, apparently blue wasn't a color until recently. It was just all different shades of green until everybody agreed upon the color to be blue. That's crazy. It's gnarly. But yeah, what what uh Um that shit that shit that shit's like I ain't really been working on that. I'm just more so like I guess like working on dropping music. And just getting the momentum to the point where I could put that project out because it's the time to. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I got the respectful, I got the respectable audience. You know what I'm saying? Like everything's just going accordingly. Like it's playing type shit. And then, you know, if I'm at that point in my timeline and I'll put the project out, if not, then I got some shit for them to like, I got pacifying music. Like, you know what I'm saying? Shit to put out and get people hooked. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, samples, like, testers. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Free samples and shit. Like, I don't really give a fuck here. Here you go. You know, I'm pretty sure you can relate. You know, went on motherfucking mm-hmm. sprees, music sprees. I mean, like, yeah, it's, it's, I just fucking drop yeah. all the time. And it's hard for me to find the, I guess, find the worth when I'm dropping so much shit. But when it's like, to me, it's like all quality, you know, why not just keep dropping shit? It is the same exact thing though, because I don't. I still don't feel comfortable with what I've released, as far as like 
having a catalog solidified that's there for people to hear. Because a year ago, I feel better than I did a year ago, but if I like just popped off and got got lit, I would want people to have something, some quality of, of me to hear before I even j- release another single yeah. project. So the fact that I did <clears throat> remixes every week last year, 2020, it was just every dynamic of every spectrum on top of the albums I released right before it with zero promo. So I think I think it's all going to wind up promo in itself in the end. Kind of like these conversations. Like I think these conversations in the long run are going to be something that we all look back on and listen to like, oh shit, that's where I was then. I remember yeah. that's how I felt at that time. You know what I mean? So are you dropping a video or anything soon? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm kind of like in the process of like finishing the single because I need like features. Like mm-hmm. the song's done. I just need to get the features and then mix their vocals and shit like that. And then I'm going to put that record out. I'm going to shoot the video for it. And then, You're still mixing and doing all your own shit? For the most part, yeah. Like, I mean, yeah, 100%. Um, I do, like my plan is to take my shit somewhere else. Like, I'll, I'll mix what I want to, and then, like, you know, I'll get, like, the stems or, like, you know, because I don't, I, I mix vocals. I'm not, like, really, I don't mix beats. I feel like that's a whole yeah, do other you get thing. The, you don't get the stems, you just throw them Yeah, on. I like, what I do is, like, I, I know how to f- fuck with a two-track and, like, you know, mid-side EQ it to, like, get to, like, get it to at least where I want, kind mm-hmm. of. Like, I could bring out certain elements in the beat and shit, like... You know what I'm saying? If I like a sample, I could bring it up through mm-hmm. like the mid side EQ and shit. But um, yeah, nah. Like I want to get into like I feel like my vocals are clean. I, I like my vocals, and I'm gonna continue to get better at that. Like as far as mixing them and <clears throat> getting them as clean as it could possibly be, and sounding as crazy and as cool as it could possibly be. But I also want to take the beat, the production. Like I want that shit also like mixed. To mm-hmm. another level, like a, a new clean, a new standard. Like overall, I just want my music to evolve. I feel like I'm at the point where, like, my head, I'm like in a weird spot where it's like, I probably it's probably not that I don't love music or I don't want to record or I don't want to make music. I think it's just like I know for what I got in my head. Like, I need more resources. Like, I just need an overall, Yeah, it's it's boring just to rap. Yeah, like, I just feel like I evolved. (laughs) Like, I outgrew a lot of shit. Like, I'm much... Like, the the growth Mm -hmm. speed was I feel the same. That's And that's why I was in drumming and doing just every genre. And that's, like, everything musically. For the last three months, I I tried to take a break. But I I naturally still wind up making a couple songs a week just because it just comes out. But... I did take a major step back because the sound, first of all, I know I can get way better, but I do feel limited. And we all know it's not what you have, it's how you use it type shit. But you feel that what you just said is exactly how I feel about the sound itself. And at the same time, creating it for some reason, I need like a fucking saxophone at this point. Like I need, I need, I need, I need everything. I need every instrument at this point. So that's why I started fucking painting. Like, literally started painting because I need to fucking get some form of this shit out. And the visual representation is just opening up more ideas. So instead of, like, creating albums or just tracks right now, it's I'm so just doing dope. I'm just doing live performances and shit. So I love this guy. He's dope. <laughs> He's dope. I'm doing the live, live takes of everything I've made the past couple years because... I, dude, I just realized, like, the one, the one live take too much I dropped, like, a week ago... Mm-hmm. People that I haven't talked to in fucking eight years that like loved the ciphers back then that I haven't spoken to since then, nothing, but they saw that and that was like, yo, you can fucking sing. That's so I just, you know how versatile I am. Yeah. Other people do, but so close to me, but dude, the world doesn't know yet out of, out of all the music I released cause nothing's promoted, none of that. And there's a reason I'm so against the paying for promo, and we'll get to that in a second, I guess. But everything that I release, dude, the visual representation of it is the first thing. So that's why painting has become a different thing for me creatively. But into what I was just saying, though, as far as that pr- promo and 
like I said, I haven't promoted anything. When I first started, it was the Cyphers. It was the South Jersey Cyphers, and we went to Five Points. That's how I met you. And those got mad views because there was no algorithm business control yet. Mm. There was When I posted it, 100 people on my Facebook friends list saw it, not 10% of it. Mm. And then if 10% liked it, the next 10% see it. You know what I mean? So the music industry got incentivized on the internet through us, like our generation over the past five to eight years. So when I see this, and this is how the, the labels had to find some way to gain control after streaming came about, I just lost a lot of interest in the game because I just see all these plays and these people can't bring three people to a show. Right. It's like blew my mind when I saw the reality of it when I got into the industry a little bit. So the art, the process of creating, I didn't lose interest in it all, but where it's going or where it will be placed kind of did dissuade me from the industry a little bit the past year and a half. But at the same time, that's why I'm just creating it all. So that being said, your next project... That's brilliant, actually, that when you put it that way. Yeah, like... It's all into perspective. That's why I love having these converse because this is the only time I'll really be able to explain why I've done what I've done over the past couple of years. But um, but when are you gonna give some snippets and throw away Jones? When are you gonna start doing that? Oh, um, part of this upcoming month. Like I'm gonna get back. Like I, I know I dropped. I, I guess like probably like the way I presented myself and put myself out there probably looked like I was about to be like. And I kind of mm-hmm. just just did one, yeah, one <laughs> quick joint. But now nah, I'm about to like start like flooding shit this upcoming month. Like this summer is going pretty. It's gonna be a pretty crazy summer. Like I think I'm gonna have a lot of drops. I'm gonna have a lot of moments and shit like that. But it's all just <clears throat> like me personally. I believe in promo only because like I know. But, but I believe in. Oh like, no, I don't not believe yeah. in it, and I know what it does. Yeah. But I'm just. I've just been the person who's witnessed and done the real shit, mm. whatever the fuck that means, to to see how it's switched to that. It's like it takes the fun out of it for some reason. Yeah. It takes like the mystery out of who's who could pop type shit. You know what I mean? I mean, not nah, because it's it's really like I mean things can still go viral. That's not what I mean. Like yeah. just randomly. I'm but, just saying like what I like for, what I like like with promo. I like you know what I'm saying as far as like just the whole. I call it the internet. Like, oh, you feel me? Like, what I like is if you really in it, because a lot of people, bro, it's, it, they really like do this shit to like for the wrong reason. So half of the time, they like they they paying for promo. They they got whatever you know. what I'm saying they PR team or they like internet team is doing this shit, and they numbers be fucking fake. Like you feel me? It'd be for the clout, and it, it, and it, it gets <laughs> to the lot. point. Here's the thing, though: you got some artists that really don't know that's what's going on. Mm-hmm. They're working with people, and they're just trying. They're just trying whatever they could possibly fucking do to get out there. And the people are just finessing the fuck out of them, and they have no fucking clue. Mm-hmm. Like you play, you paid for like, you know, before Spotify playlist, it was SoundCloud playlist, and the SoundCloud playlist blog, platform, whatever, it was supposed to bring you 15,000 views, and you thought it came from there, but it really came from a fucking app on the phone, bro. Yeah, fucking and bots. somebody got them shits with some coins. like Yeah, and, and, th- and this is what I'm saying. That happened when I started the Cyphers. It was like 2012, mm-hmm. 13, 14. Yeah. Halfway through 14 into 15 is when that started, okay. when the SoundCloud playlist and shit started. Yeah. So we had, because you were doing it for, since you were fucking... Young, young. So mm-hmm. you were always already online. Yeah. You had already gotten, you already did it too in a little, in, in a sense. Because mm-hmm. I saw, you. didn't you used to post on? Yeah. What you, yeah like yeah. back in the day. Yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So you saw that too, how that, how that transition happened. But um, I didn't mean to cut you off, yeah. but I just had to mention like the time frame of where it happened. Because it happened quick. It happened within the past four years, five years. Yeah, 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 six, six. Full sex, six yeah. or seven. I say like yeah, 2015, 2015, yeah, 2015, yeah. When I started. But like, mainly it's just like, <clears throat> um, 
you know, so on one hand, you got that going on, and then on another side, you got people like me that are in it to, like, I'm with the promo, I'm with using technology to get metrics and find people, bro. So in a situation like that, like, because some people, like, a lot of people ain't fucking bugs. They're not true. They're not, like, like, you are, like, like a fucking, like, a real life OG living legend, like, well, like you're different, bro. Mm. You cut different. You you fuck you you just fucking different, bro. My fuck them up, fuck them up on the internet. Fuck them up in person, bro. Get a bag on the internet. Get a bag in person. I've had some sort of fucking like riot against the internet because of this. <laughs> like, I've been like, fuck the internet. I've been so intent on real life shit, like the yeah. shows and ciphers and and like it's, it's documented and posted. But I I don't do that. So like I'm 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 taking in everything you're saying right yeah. now. So obviously. With, so with that being said, like you know, it really just comes down to like some people they just they don't be knowing how to bring people to the shows because they don't know where to find them or where to get them at. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like the metrics, the metrics. You know what I'm saying? The metrics like, oh shit! All right, they really fucking with me in this city. I'm about to go tap in or about to show it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you probably. Motherfuckers be they be fu- they be trying so hard to bring thirty motherfuckers to a club like mm-hmm. thirty motherfuckers to a to a to a club or a venue in New Jersey and real and don't even know, nigga you don't even got you from New Jersey and you don't even got no friends in mm-hmm. New Jersey. Them thirty fans that you thought that was gonna show up to to this to this one fucking show in New Jersey they scattered all over the United States. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So get those since you found them thirty motherfuckers it means you can find thirty sixty more motherfuckers. 90 more motherfuckers than 300 more motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? And eventually you'll be able to, like, get your scene wherever you go. You know what I'm saying? But it's all a part of the process. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's just about being effective, finding out what works, what's real. You know what I'm saying? And what's for mm-hmm. what versus, like, what's for perception and what's for fucking clout. A lot of motherfuckers is try- yeah, think, as, trying to be effective. As far effective. as, like, whatever playlist you go through. Yeah, like, shit. a lot of motherfuckers is trying to be effective, bro, but they really just, like, <clears throat> they just playing a clout game for real. You know what I'm saying? So that's, Yeah, and that's that's what's frustrating because when I did the ciphers it was to really find the talent, you know, to really find the rappers, to really find the lyricists cuz cuz we it's the, it's the internet. It it was it was weird in 2010 when like around that time everybody was just posting like that they were the best and shit like that. So that's why I started the ciphers mm-hmm. to to work with and, and link and have some sort of network for Jersey artists that that are dope to keep working with each other. Because otherwise, the, it was town by town, and there's so many fucking artists. But to see how that played out and to realize that like. Oh shit! This dude is actually really dope. He has mad followers or whatever. And then when I realized that that was fake, a lot of accounts of it, it was just so mind fucking, like mind boggling to me how how fake a lot of the shit was. As far as even some rappers stealing lyrics and the ciphers back then, that was in a small example. But the internet fake shit. Wait, that happened. The, yeah. <laughs> And I had to co- I, <laughs> and I had to call him out. And so shout out to Cocaine, fucking. He had a song, and I like. I went to Collingswood too, so I knew a lot of the artists from Woodland and Camden area. Right. And when I did the Cherry Hill Cipher, dog, I don't even remember the kid's name. But he did line for line, and if I didn't go to Collingswood High School, I would have never known that song. Which means I would have let that kid rap it on my cipher. And that would have been such a bad look for me. But oh I called the motherfucker out on it halfway through the verse. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. In front of all his friends. It was actually, the cipher was in his driveway. If you look oh, at the Cherry Hill cipher. Shit. The Cherry Hill cipher was a weird one, bro. So when I called him out, he's like, what? I was like, you didn't write that. He's like, what? I could recycle. I said, what were his shoddy lift him up like the doors on the garage? That's you what you were going to say. And I, all his boys just like freaked out. I recently just flipped a 50 Cent song. And it's like crazy to me. Like I take so much pride. Like like as far as like one thing I will say, bro, and I hope one day like we kind of do this as a culture. Like we separate 
I ain't even going to say it like we separating the boys from the men or it's anything personal or anything mm-hmm. against anybody, but, like, we need to separate MCs from rappers. Like, yeah. We need to separate, like, those niggas like, yeah, that actually clear, participate. There's a clear difference. That's what the ciphers <clears throat> are for. You feel? Because that, that's my thing. Like, even, even with me, like, I'm so prideful. I'm so, like, prideful in my pen and so, like, by the book that, like, certain shit has never happened. Like, it took me... I've been rapping for fucking years, bro. For fucking years. I know years. it's crazy thinking about how long it's been. That's why it's boring to us now. We need that. We need something else to expand I it. I just probably for the first time genuinely tried to fl- like flip an original, an original, like on the original song, not like a remix where like say I do a Drake, a Drake freestyle. You know what I'm saying? In one of his songs, and like I reword the hook. No, I'm talking about like on oh, my shit, like flip another artist's like shit. You dig what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It. I just did that shit for the first time because I was never comfortable with it. It's like every, all the content I put up, all the ideas I have, I want them to be mine. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's just crazy to Originally, be like... Originally, yeah, sampling is such a weird thing. That's But that is what hip-hop is. <laughs> right, right. You <laughs> so feel me? Weird. And even, and even with that, like, it ain't nothing wrong with what I did. And even yeah. what I did, like, I ain't just spit the hook word for what I had to rework. I had to do something original. And it's mm-hmm. like, it took me so long to do that. But in the same breath, it's, more, it's a motherfucker... It's more homage? Um, um... Then It's taking... always about, like, yeah, it's all... Like, for me, like, that. That's that's the good part about it, like... I think a motherfucker could listen to my catalog and when that song comes out, like they're already gonna know I'm paying homage. They're already it's like a fun fact. It's like, hey, you listen to this record and be like, okay, he one of his favorite artists growing up was fifty cent, clearly. Like Facts. Cause he flipped this record. True. Instead of being like, Wait, did he just try to run with fifty cent shit like it's yeah. it? You know what I'm saying? Like, no offense. Like Tory, like I think Tory's one of them people like he did so many remixes, so many samples, it got to the point where people was just like all right, bro. I was is confused he... for a little bit. Yeah. I was like, "This is all he does, right?" You feel him? So yeah. it's like, so it's like for me, you feel him? no, no, no shot at him because he, he. I mean, I, yeah, I don't yeah. even listen to music, but everything I heard was a remix or right. a remake, and I felt like he could do something it. like. I felt like 90s. he could do it, and why he did it was because he was like, he's the nigga that's writing for everybody. So he's like, yeah, fuck that. Like I'm, I'm gonna do that. You feel me? But nevertheless, mm-hmm. like for me, it's like I don't even do that type of shit. I would do a songwriting deal in a heartbeat, cause then I could still do my own shit. Shit, yeah, like I don't, cause music just fucking comes out like that. I don't even, you know, what I'm saying I don't even do that type of shit. So it it just feels genuine. It feels right. You know what I'm saying? It's a cool thing. It's a cool thing to. I, it's a cool thing to have in my catalog. It's like a collector's item within my catalog. Mm-hmm. But it's just crazy. It took me so long to even pull a move like that. Just for a motherfucker to be spitting somebody else's shit at a cipher, bro. Like, yeah, bar for bro, he stole my shit. Bar and that for was bar, ten, that was word ten, for word. Dude, that was my like whole fucking flow. Ten years ago, <laughs> that was, and it and it was a oh song. My God. It was song lyrics. It was like one of Cocaine's songs. That's some foul shit. Yeah, Co- his nigga, the nigga named Cocaine, and he stole the shit line for line. <laughs> hey man, and then the and fuck? then Cherry Hill. When I dropped that, some other kids from Cherry Hill tried to drop a Cherry Hill cipher, and used. I the, think I remember that. Used the same title to try and steal the views of like what a lot of people fuck? tried to do, that and that, so- that's the thing too. That was the thing too, bro. Like, I I learned so much from the age fucking eighteen to twenty in that two years mm-hmm. because everyone hated me in high school. Everyone hated me. I was the wigger, and then. One year I moved to Arizona, I come back and start the ciphers, and everything's completely different. Right. Everyone wants is inviting me, giving me their bottles, everything that I've ever fucking wanted. You know what I mean? It was super fucking weird how that shit happened. But seeing that just from people from the other towns that the rapper it was open invites, every cipher. Every cipher was open for everyone. And people still felt the need to not show up to mine and try to do their own thing with the same yeah. title. So all the things with like within the industry and the business, like the fuck shit, mm. has happened on such a small scale to me on, on, on such a weird on such a weird tip before I even got to the industry. So I've just realized like 
I can do all this shit alone as far as like everything besides obviously the only thing I really want is to fucking be on festivals and be on be on the tour, be on road all fucking day. That's all I want. But talking about that, how do you feel about shows after COVID? Like are you gonna just be popping up all summer? Like how are you I'm vaccinated, hell yeah. Oh you got vaxxed? Yeah. Oh, that's I, I I don't I don't suggest it. I don't co sign it. I was in a Did you do the magnet? Hell fucking no. <laughs> what what you, apparently people have magnet the magnets are sticking to where they got the shot. You got some man. man I, got I don't some, have a magnet. I bro, wish I, got I some did. Magnetic in my car right now. I will right, we'll do it. We'll do it in a little bit. We'll do yeah, it. We'll I, definitely I really do it want on here. So what the <laughs> fuck is be doing too much? Like all the like all the conspiracy theories and shit. Because my whole thing is like for conspiracy. Well, it's not conspiracies. It's like <clears throat> it's just true shit. Like no, nah, but I'm saying like it'd be some shit like that. I look, look, look. If, you know what I'm it's saying? It's just discussions. I'll be, I'll be like this. This one, this one, trying to say. All right, we do that shit and it works. It works. You <laughs> feel what I'm saying? <laughs> it works. But I'm probably, this is probably what's going to happen. We probably going to get some magnetic shit. We're going to get that magnetic shit out my car. We're going to fuck with it where I got the shot. And that shit's not going to do anything. And that's because mm-hmm. motherfuckers be capping, bro. And that shit is annoying because it's real shit going oh, no. on. Well, it's, it's real. Like some, it's act, It's real. I, we'll see. Because I got the shot. So we're going to see. Well, no, there's different shots. Uh, which one what? did you get? I got the Pfizer. I don't know if that's the one that's magnetic, but we'll see. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, what I'm saying is, bro, it'd be a lot of shit. Like everybody, like I'll put, I'll put it to you this way. Oh no, we were just talking about how everything's fake in music. Everything's fake everywhere, bro. Yeah, bro, and that shit be killing me. Where it's like, it's bro, so comfy fuck, being, it's so comfy being alone when you see that. How the shit fuck when you, you going? How the fuck? Listen, man, bro. Like if I go down a rabbit hole on some conspiracy theory shit. How the fuck the conspiracy theory is going to be fake? Like, that shit mad annoying. Just because y'all want to, like, scare somebody or, like... you Just because your ass a compulsive liar, bro, and you fucking cooking up shit. So now you made this crazy-ass PowerPoint, tied a bunch of shit together that don't need to be tied <laughs> together. You feel me? And scared a bunch of fucking people. Because you scared as hell. Like, what the fuck, bro? It be dumb shit like that, bro, that make me mad as hell. Like, why? Well, there's it depends on which one you're talking about. Because there's, like... Like niggas, like I put it, I put man niggas. Like had what me, about like flat Earth? Like, like for real? Like which not, one? Not some shit like that, bro. Niggas had me going to my. I'm sitting with my doctor and shit. You feel me? I'm talking to him. I'm like, hey man, like and, and look, man, my doctor don't got no reason to fucking lie to me. This my doc, like this my doctor. This is the motherfucker. You feel? You, you, we boys. So you know how it is when you a kid. You go in and you get your physical and you gotta get touched. You feel me? You got you know, niggas gotta test your nuts. You had the same guy. I don't know how, bro. I had my same doctor. You feel me? So, like, bitch, like, I don't lie to my doctor about shit. Like, I come in, like, he be like, what you been on? Oh, I've been on hella drugs, bro. I've been wilding. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I talk to my doctor about everything. So, I was like, hey, bro, what's up with the vaccine? You feel me? Bro, that nigga looked around and closed the door. So, I was like, oh, shit. He about to tell me some shit. (laughs) You feel me? So, we start talking and shit. And he like, I was like, so what's happening? So, I pulled up a picture of Conway the Machine. I was like, hey, man, I get the vaccine. I'm going to look like this. You feel what I'm saying? He like. Bro, what the fuck? Like, you feel me type shit? Like, bro, hell no. You're not going to have palsy and all that. Like, nigga, your face ain't going to be paralyzed, bro. Motherfuckers be capping, bro. You know those motherfuckers getting paid the front like they fake paralyzed from the vaccine, oh, bro? Oh, no, dude. I know that. And it I'm just not... be shit like that. And it's like, why, bro? <laughs> Fucking why? But there are some crazy side effects, too. No, oh, yeah, for facts, facts, And, like, facts. and no one knows, like, That's why I what, they're, what the effects of it's going to be. Like, even was, he was telling me, like, he was telling me, like, hey, man, listen, it's a new vaccine. Not, like, as in it's a new vaccine. Obviously, COVID is a new disease, but, like, the type well, of not, vaccine. Like, the thing about a vaccine that's not been tested, like, for years and years, like, is, like, they don't know if this will make people sterile in the future type shit. Yeah. That's a, that's something that people worry about. That's what I'm not worried and, about. I'm and it, like the point of the vaccine is to stop the spread, but it actually doesn't stop it, and you can still spread it. So then, what's the point of taking it? You know, there's a lot of things that kind of cancel it out. It's kind of like the mask argument. Like the mm. mask doesn't, the mask doesn't protect you from shit because it's like throwing like your spit and your talk is like throwing mm. sand at a chain fence. Like, right. that's what the mask is doing. It's not actually blocking right. shit. So, all the shit. And like then not to mention, like, a year ago is when the riot started. So, what is it? May? Mm. And then February, February, March, April, May. So, three months into it was when all the riots around the world happened. Mm. Like, the world. And the cases didn't, like, go crazy as far as deaths and shit. Right. 
So there's just so much that ties into like why I would like not want to get it. Besides, yeah, no, I don't. Besides, I'm, but but you have other health, the record, but you have the other health shit that happens. So no, nah, like, that's I fact. Under, I understand, but no, nah, it wasn't even about that. Like it, it wasn't even about that. You feel me? For the record, man, Mozzie, Marty Ranson does not co-sign. I do not fuck with vaccines. You know what I'm saying? I do not suggest this <laughs> shit, <laughs> especially especially if you fucking young, man. But even with me, like logically, I don't got time to come down with no motherfucking yeah. Uh, COVID or no nothing, just all for the shit I went through. Like I'm just coming off a fucking heart attack that may yeah, have well, been. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. People yeah, that may have been it. fucking COVID for all I fucking know. But nevertheless, for me, it, bro, I got that shit from my mama. My mom pretty much like she um, cause like when I like I said, I was talking to my doctor. You feel me? He broke it down. He said, "All right, bro, this is what's going on." Like he broke down how the the issue as far as like the vaccine being a new type of vaccine. So it's not even like it's a new vaccine because. It's the COVID vaccine. No, it's a new type of, like, it's a new style of vaccine. Like, the way it works is new. You get the what I'm RNA, saying? Yeah, yeah, the mRNA. Yeah, whatever. so um, he broke that shit down. He was pretty much explaining to me, like, cause I, like I said, like, I did, yo, no cap. Like, I really Googled a picture of Conway the Machine. I was like, bro, I'm going to look like this, bro. Like, I'm, I'm going to get signed to Griselda. Like, I'm going to be, like, his sidekick type shit. You <laughs> feel me? He was just like, nah, like, you know what I'm saying? What's going on is, like, the real thing. Like, when motherfuckers, when they came out with the vaccine, and like, motherfuckers was, like, dying and shit, blood clots, all that goofy shit. What's going on is people be um, allergic. People pe- people be having mad motherfucking allergies, bro. Mm-hmm. So when I went and got my vaccine, they had, like, a 15-minute minute, uh, fifteen minute evaluation and shit. Like, after you get the vaccine, like, you sit there and they watch you for, like, 15 minutes. If you got allergies or you one of them motherfuckers that happen to be allergic to everything, you yeah, probably like, should well, take... That's the, that's the thing. I think a vaccine is, like, made from one person's DNA, and then that's right. pretty much... So, a vaccine, like... I know we all got vaccinated. Mm-hmm. It's just really weird to think about, like, regardless, like, measles and all the shit yeah. that we're good from. We got vaccinated when we were babies that nothing out of our, in our control. Mm-hmm. But it is just really weird when you think about it, that... All of us have the same human DNA injected into us because the main source of the vaccine is from the same. Right. So right. it's super weird to me. So that means, like, and technically, like, they could just infect whatever, whenever. But right. the, the fact that this is a new kind of vaccine yeah. is what's scary as fuck, too, because they're oh. just incentivized. Like, yo, we'll give you a beer at the bar if you show us that you t- took it type shit. Right. Like, they're saying, like, yo, we'll give you this if you take it. Well, hold on, though. But nevertheless, They're like, giving it for free, and they're giving, trying to give people shit but for But nevertheless, it. like, you feel me? The issue, the, the main issue was, like, if you get um, if you get the vaccine and you tend to have allergies, you probably want to take your EpiPen within, like, the first 15 minutes of getting the shot. Because what happened is people that have, like, the motherfuckers that be yeah, allergic. fuck them up. Yeah, they, the motherfuckers that be allergic to shit, to everything, you feel me, they'll get the shot. And then, like, I right, say they don't take their EpiPen. When they, when this shit start fucking you up two weeks from now, don't try to take your EpiPen then. It's over. It's mm-hmm. over with. It's like cancer. It already spreads. So whatever the fuck's about to happen to you, happens to you. And what, and there's nothing you could do to reverse it. The only thing you could do to reverse it is taking your EpiPen. Did you like, get the a little of, sick when you took got it? I'm going to get to that in a second. So with that being said, you know what I'm saying, um... My mom is one of them people that happens to be, like, allergic to every fucking thing. So I just didn't want her to take it. Because mm-hmm. I ain't going to lie. If anybody going to take a vaccine, hey, mom, you older, man. You done had your kids. You done live your life. If if you feel like getting a fucking vaccine, get it. Because I wasn't about to get it. You feel me? But in a situation mm-hmm. like that, I don't, I don't want to put my mom through that shit or, or my mom even fucking think my about mom, going through My that mom shit. was around it, never caught it, but she still got the vax. So I, I was I like, went, I was scared. I was like, I don't know. I but went and got it on account of she got it for her parents. You feel me? Like shit, shit like that. Like bitch, I want to hug my grandma. Shit like that. So whatever. But um, as far as how did I do with the vaccine, bro? I straight as hell, bro. No cap. My arms just hurt it like a bitch. Like for the first, like the first I hate shot. Needles. My first shot. My arm. Like the next day, the following day, your arm be like sore as shit. You know what I'm saying? And then after that. And my arm was sore, and then, like, I was, like, straight. But I was, like, overthinking shit, so I start feeling weird. I get hot. I'll be like, oh, my God, am I coming down with a fever? No! Fuck that. You feel me? And then, like, bitch, I'll be like, nigga, you bitch, and shut up. I hate fine. needles, dude. Uh, I'll just watch it. I'll just watch it go in, and I'll be straight. You I passed pitch. out a couple times at the doctor. Don't you got tats, nigga? No. I got one tattoo on the back. 
of my neck. But nah. Huh. Yeah, t- t- needles, I'll pass out. I'll faint. So, like, thinking about, like, a situation, like, apocalyptic type shit, if I was ever had to, like, we were in the wild and I broke my leg and I, like, had to cu- cut my leg off to survive. <sighs> Could never do it. I would never Damn. be able to. Wouldn't be able to do it. Damn. Speaking of that, hold on. Speaking of fucking survival. Oh, all right. I was about to say this. If you had to fight to the death, could you do it with this? Mm-hmm. And how would you do it? And the person you're fighting has that too, and you guys can only use that. You can only use you that. You can't use elbows or nothing. Wait, oh fuck, man! I was like, about to you say, can I'll, only use that. I toss this shit to the side, just killing with my bare hands. Nah, like, you, can't. You, you and the opponent can only use that. Don't break I it. I guess. Oh yeah. See, <laughs> you but know what? what would you be? What would be your method? Uh, break this shit and hope I get a sharp point and stab the fuck out of somebody. But like, bro, so I'm, so I'm so dead, you're gonna bro. so like. Ding, ding, ding. You're going to break it on the ground to try to get a sharp point on it? Yeah, something like something like that. Because, like, like... Yeah, you got to get the sharp point. Bro, what the fuck? It's bro, I'm seat. dead as fuck, bro. Somebody going to kill me, man. <laughs> well, the person you had it, you're fighting has it, too. I'm, I'm still going to die, bro. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. You're just going to die. die yeah. like, I'm going to die just off of some, like, <laughs> off of some being mad at God shit. Like, bro. Like, Why would somebody, y'all do this? <laughs> yeah, like, bitch, like, first of all, select fighter. You selected me. I don't feel like fighting nobody today. With a yeah, shell, it's gonna bro. It's going to be like, select your weapon, and then you gave me this shit. Like, the, bro, what the fuck? All right. What if you're fighting you? A clone of you. With the same exact weapon. I Man, I bitch, I hope. You would of, technically die, too. Uh, one, of you, <laughs> one, of, one of you would. I hope, well, I hope whoever the fuck I'm fighting, whatever clone I'm fighting, I hope he didn't have a fucking bad day. Like, I hope one of us, I hope I had a worse day than him, or like, oh, I'm more right. mad than him. That's what, <laughs> ultimately, that's what it's going to come down to. But now nah, I was lame as hell. You saying, like, I can only use this. Like, I can't just throw this shit and be like, come on. Like, <laughs> no, that's that, the point. That's really, yeah, bro. I honestly, ain't nobody finna motherfucking die. If this shit don't break, bro. We going to fight to the death. How? What you going to make a motherfucker you, swallow fucking... this shit? She can't hit a nigga in the straight neck. Straight to the eyeballs first. It's always straight to the eyeballs. Like. Oh, look at that. <laughs> yeah. Fucking jabbing at the eyeball, right? And then, I don't know, maybe try to, like, shove it down their fucking throat so they choke on it. I'll take back everything I said about this nigga. Get him a straight jacket. And lock <laughs> yeah. him away for a very long time. Lock him away for a very long time. Chill. What the <laughs> fuck, man? What? All right, so you're just you're just gonna, so you're just gonna give up. You're just gonna say fuck it. I'm not doing this. I'm mad at the universe for making me fight. Yeah, only because I can't just throw that shit and like put my. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right, bitch. Like, you feel me? Versus is like, nah, bitch. I gotta do this. <laughs> but that dumbass shit, like I'll get mad as hell, for real, for real. Cause you imagine, like, cause you imagine, like, trying to like really get right with a nigga, yeah, well, and a nigga like, ah, like, <laughs> like pussy not even gonna well, be like, you feel me? You definitely can't stab. That's why you gotta like go to the eyeball, man. The only thing about going to an eyeball is like, all right, I I can only use that. So like, how would I defend myself? Like, can I block? Yeah, you can block and shit, but you can't like. Oh, it gets tricky. You know what I'm going to do? I'll tell you exactly what I'm going to do. I like what you just did. You said you put this shit on the pinky, right? Yeah. Put this shit on the fucking pinky. You know what I'm going to figure out? I'm just going to break the fucking rules. So somehow, I'm going to get this shit and make a fist with it. I don't know how, and I'm just going to punch the fuck out of somebody with this. Oh, yeah, yeah. So make it like a bare brass knuckle drawn. That would work. <laughs> that way you know you lie. Well, do you want to tell the people anything before we go? We're gonna do this again, get more in depth about some some funny stuff we've been through and shit. Oh man, bro, we spent mad time talking about that lame ass vaccine. Please don't tell me this shit about the end. You serious? Well Oh man. No, no. Well let's uh well let's show them something then. Here's here's something real quick. Yeah, like I had a code at the gate. Back then me and Breezy was posting.
hoes so don't race Ain't had the bag, we was hanging with eggs Fool in the ass and he dropping at eight Yeah, loyalty ties like squad and gang uh, We ain't in it for dolo, uh, we in it for dodo Season the dope while I cook and hit it like a dobo Yeah, stretching the lane with the Cairo Little chick sucking me with her eyes closed She taking visit on photos If she leak it, then we might go viral Yeah, selfie the handle, face front the angle that she got a Yeah, that was that This is this um, so he doesn't want to leave yet, guys. We're going to keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> I did not. I just felt bad. No, nah, yeah. Like we didn't want to talk. We, did, we both didn't mean to talk yeah, about yeah. that bullshit vaccine or whatever. Cause Fuck we all just dealt shit. with the same shit. But, um, yo, let's talk about the fucking, I had Craig on Craig Lynch on a couple weeks ago and I asked him this. Um, what was your favorite memories and what do you remember the most from the five point cipher? Craig was there? Craig Lynch, yeah. He was with J Dot. Okay. Cause something I bro, I'm getting to it. I'm getting weird. Like I'm getting to it. Well age no, there like, was forty five people on that. Yeah, I'm getting to an age where like my like my memory's foggy and I got certain shit mixed up with certain shit. We took a school bus full of rappers to New York. How old were you? I was either 13 or 14. <laughs> Somewhere between 13 and 15 years oh, old. Oh, I'm such an asshole, bro. I'm I'm like 18 at the time. That shit crazy. Partying, drinking on a school bus on the way to New York. Jimmy You were 18 then? I was only 18, yeah. I thought you was like twenty three. Like you had like you like you just you just always I didn't buy been. any of that alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> you always you was you was just like super mature. You was super mature. Yeah, like I guess my that's mom, why the organized of all the shit was my, working. My mom was just talking about this shit the other day because we had to go to like Cherry Hill by the Guitar Center to like pick oh, up right some up furniture there. and shit. So like she was just talking about like how like you know Jamie you and shit like mm-hmm. that. Like even when she met you. Like if I told if I go back home, it was like you know he was eighteen back then. She'd be like, "Get the fuck out of here!" You, <laughs> I can't she, believe you were thirteen, dude. Because like nah, real shit. Like when she had come, when she had came and picked me up, like she felt like she felt even more comfortable about once she met you. Like she spoke to you, mm-hmm. she felt more comfortable about like that whole experience, like. Even though I smelled like mad gas and yeah, shit like, I was like that. The, I was like, me and Jimmy had to be like the chaperone or whatever. Yeah. No, that's awesome though. Because that was like one of the things I was confident in. Like convincing people that like what we're about to do is going to be fucking amazing. You know what <laughs> I mean? At that time, I was really good at that. Like, yeah. And before that, I was throwing house parties. So I just connected that to the ciphers. And obviously the five point cipher was... I only think I did like four or five ciphers before that. I don't think I did many. I don't even. I might have done the candid cipher. I don't even think I got there yet, though. But bro, you like I remember because I was like, this little young boy is gonna talks a little shit. This little guy, like, I, like you looked like such a nice guy, but when you rapped, you were so fucking aggressive. And <laughs> dude, today I got a Facebook memory about it actually. Yeah. And you posted a you had you posted a status like. Where's the footage at? Like we all were back in the day. Shout out to Will. Uh, <laughs> we were all like, where's the fucking footage 24-7? But you were like, dude, the bus ride home. Do you remember the bus ride home? Like The I, bus ride there was awesome, but the yeah. bus ride back home. I like, yo, it's so fucking foggy. But like I do I do remember like I do remember oh, like yeah, we going, really smoked that bitch out on the I remember back. going, I remember like I remember like it wasn't. It wasn't that it was dark outside. I think we went over like an underpass or a tunnel, or we just it went. Got through, dark as it we got went dark. It got dark. But now, nah, what I'm saying, like we was, it it was also dark because of what was above us. And I remember there was a that, red light, a little red light in. Nah, the bus. but I'm saying like we drove under something like for a minute, and it kind of yeah like, the so, tunnel. Yeah. So, but it was like, it was like. It was like a minute. I think it was on a, on a highway. Or something. We were somewhere, but we was like in and out of like, not necessarily tunnels, but just shit on top of us. And it got dark. And when it got dark, that's when niggas started rapping. Niggas started turning up. Niggas started acting like bad kids on the back of the bus. Oh, yeah. I do remember that. Hold on. And then it like, did it did it phase in and out a few times? Yeah, that's what I was saying. Because I knew it wasn't dark. It wasn't dark on the bus because it was dark outside. It was second, dark because of where we was at. And then 
And then when it got, we just like immediately calmed down when it when it fucking got out of it. Niggas fake calmed down, niggas. dude. That was dude. That that was so fucking. Hard. Niggas was what? You because, know what happened? Because I was only- everybody was with the shit, and then when we calmed down, it was just a, a select few that was still <laughs> with the shit. But ain't nobody fucking calmed down. Nah, it was fire. Ain't nobody fucking calmed down. Ain't nobody fucking. The calmed funny down. thing to me is like the ride down. We were all sectioned off, like with the people we came. You know, Dewan what Whaley was there. Hell yeah, fucking. We were all sectioned off on the way there, but we already knew like who was who, and we were saving our wraps for when we got there. And then when we so on the way back, cool. everybody was completely mixed up. From you know what's we funny about you know what's so funny about Five Points. Now that I think about it. Hmm. Hey man. Fuck y'all niggas on the front of the bus if you ain't bugs. Fuck y'all. Because I'm going to explain why. Now that I think about it. What? Now that I think about it, bro. Now that I think about it. Everybody, because I was like in the middle of the bus. So you take like one person behind me. And then you take you in the front versus everybody ahead of me. Like towards the back of the bus. Mm -hmm. From where I was at. On the bus to the end of the bus, pretty much everybody is fucking cool to this day. Mm-hmm. Like we actually got some type of affinity for each other and yeah. stayed connected. Yeah. Versus there's some niggas on that bus, I don't know what the fuck they look like. I would have to go back <laughs> and watch the video. And niggas ain't talk to no and those were the niggas. It's like the niggas that didn't want to talk to nobody or didn't really want to like you know those what I'm saying? Those are the ones who aren't here who now. Who were in the front, were yeah. in the front of the fucking bus. Exactly. Everybody, if you was in the back of the bus, in the middle of the fucking bus, you was on some And that's shit, exactly bro. how the ciphers were, though. If you go back and look at every individual town cipher, mm. you can tell right there, like, oh, he's going to be something. And then, like, if you look back on it now, and then, obviously, we know who's doing shit now. Mm. So when you look back, you'll be like, oh, yeah, obviously. You know, and then you swipe through and you'll be like, I remember that face. Where the fuck is he? And right. they're not doing it. That That's like the point of this shit. You know, that was literally the point of the five, five point cipher was just to fucking go to the graffiti mecca of the America and rap with 40 fucking New Jersey rappers pulling up to New York. Like, yo, yeah. every age, 13, 16, 18, 22. We had every age there. I had my girlfriend, like the girl of my dreams at the time. Like everything that I ever could have wanted <laughs> in moment. life, bro, right. came together and fell apart. Came together, fell apart within like the last six years, you know, eight years of doing this. Mm. So it's so weird. And what I learned is like you can't have like one goal of what you want to achieve because when you achieve it, what the fuck do you do after that? And that's kind of where I got to a few times. I was like, shit, well, I don't know what to do now because I did what I wanted to do. You know, so that's kind of where I'm at as far as everything musically and artistically. And like the only thing I haven't done is really dive into the promo route, which is obviously I know I have to do. So because yeah. I'm more of a real life kind of person. So as you should be, stay that. You know I'm saying just promote your shit because like, because man, like, yeah, that's where it's coming to. That's the like, last thing I got to do. Honestly, honestly, and it's kind of cool that you did it that way. I just say, and my advice to you would be not that you asked for it, but no, I wouldn't. Um, if I was you, I would go on a, on a like, I would go on a run real quick. I would tap into like real life, but super real life bugs. Like throw some events, mm-hmm. go on a fucking run. Like go on a fucking. Oh, well, rampage. I was waiting. I like was waiting tour. for um for everything to be a hundred percent. I wasn't, right, so I wasn't doing happens, no seven. This is why I asked you what. How do you feel about shows? Because so, I'm not doing no seventy five percent shit. Like so. So what, what I'm what saying mean. is, whenever you feel like comfortable, whenever you feel comfortable with that, whatever that is for you, do all of that. Like, literally take it back, like, turn mm-hmm. the clock, take it back so you know what bugs I'm talking about, applying mm-hmm. the pressure, you throwing the shows, you throwing the ciphers. Go on a run like that. Mm-hmm. Give it, like, a month or two. Then start running promo. Mm-hmm. And then watch how that shit just blows out the fucking water. Watch. Because motherfuckers, <laughs> this nigga, watch what this motherfucker <laughs> do, man, because <laughs> nobody's going to do it like him. And I'm going to mm-hmm. tell you why. What's going to happen is, instead of... Motherfuckers seeing you on the internet and being like, who the fuck is that? I like him. I hope to see, dude. Or like, like you know what I'm saying? How I go usually is motherfuckers be on the internet. They, on, I mean, on the internet, they see somebody, they be like, okay, whatever the case may be. 
and then they see him in person versus mm-hmm. a motherfucker's going to catch you on the internet and be like, I was just smoking a J with that motherfucker. Facts. I was just, yo, I, yeah, I think that nigga <laughs> I remember shit. him. Yeah. Like, dude, like, that, he that, some shit that, going on up the road, the like first, type shit. First time in my life, bro, two weeks ago at the event that I was up at an IO recording, mm-hmm. people that I've never seen, but I've like, you know how you have like, Facebook friends or Instagram people or like, yeah. but they don't look like that in person at all. <laughs> no, not in a bad way. <laughs> it's just that you haven't, just that you've never met the person. Right. But you you somewhat know them or whatever. And then yeah. it happened, bro, when I tell you literally like 35 plus people, I had individual 10 minute convos with like, and them just like saying thank you for everything we just talked about. Mm-hmm. The ciphers and shit. So, I I never had that much of a a pull of like energy towards me about from people, you know, because it was like every person. You know how when people like know you, like when they look at you, they're like processing, like, oh, that's my that's Marty. You know what I mean? Like that is that Marty? Oh, that's Marty. You know, like you know how people you can feel the energy when people are doing it. It was that, but it was more of like people were like, oh my god, and when they were giving me, I was like. My mind blew blew up because it's it's how I felt when I was nineteen. Right. It's it's how I felt when people were like met me then, because mm. it's connected to that. Right. But I've never felt no shit like that, and I I think that is I think that is what's gonna fucking happen because whenever I see an artist, the first thing I do is go to their YouTube or something and scroll all the way to the bottom. Mm-hmm. What do you do? Like when you find a new artist, what do you do? Like that you fuck, because obviously you don't just fucking look look up everybody, but. I mean, like, it, cause I, are, like cause are you saying, like, what would I do on, like, YouTube? Or, like, mm-hmm. just, you so on YouTube specifically? Just in or just, Well, the way I've been finding new artists is, like, listening to shit, and I want to get a part of this, like, I want to get tapped in, like, I want to figure out how to, like, get this shit where you can, uh. Kind of like where people, I guess you get enough metrics and you and you know enough to be like people that listen to this artist tend to listen to my shit too. Oh, people yeah, that yeah, listen yeah, to me yeah. listen to these artists. That you way, when algorithm. you can end up on a right, you can end up on an affinity playlist where like if I get finished, like this is this is this, man. I'm so thankful for this type of shit. One of my favorite artists, like to like like to that I've discovered recently is this cat named Bodie James, mm-hmm. and I got to I found him off of like I think I finished like a Benny project. A Benny the Butcher project, and then he just popped up, and I was like, "You fit." And it, it was queer because at first, when he first got introduced to me, I was like, "Fuck, dude, what?" Like he cool, uh, turn this shit off. Mm-hmm. Plus, I was already in that bag where it's like I'm not trying now. When when I listen to him, I'll be like, I don't be trying to listen to other shit when it come on. You get what I'm saying? So I was mm-hmm. like that with that. So it came on. It came, his shit yeah, I only, came on. I only have a few artists like that. His shit I came on. To music for me, shit. shit came on. They tried to introduce one track to me, then they threw another track because I just kept listening to the playlist because I was working. I was delivering packages and shit, mm-hmm. so they kept just um, throwing different songs at me, and then they finally one stuck. Then I heard that shit, and then I just go listen to whatever project. Hopefully, if I heard a song that's attached to a project, I go and listen to the entire project. And if I like the entire project, then I'm probably just gonna listen to everything you got. Like I'm a title nigga, so like I'm gonna tap in on title and stream all your shit. True. You know what I'm saying? But if it, but all it takes is one project to scare me away, and I'll keep my ass right on a project that I like, and I won't listen to any of your other shit. <laughs> it's, it's that. It's that simple. See, that's man. hilarious because I'm like, I, I have just, no. I problem just never wanted to, to be put in a repeat. box, so that's why I make every genre. But that's cool. And when bro. I and when I find an artist, I go to their first shit. Like I don't if I like find a song that I like yeah. or something like something new that's popular, mm-hmm. I don't even finish that song. I go to their first 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 shit to see you can kind of see like if someone's doing it alone, if they got signed, if they were doing it alone and then uh-huh. got a bag or if they're just a plant. You know, you can mm-hmm. see that shit by by doing that. Kind of like the cypher shit. It's like a it's like an internet version of having a cipher with someone by me diving into their catalog like that. That's a nice little cheat code. But that's but that's because I have so much shit though, you know. Right. So in in my mind, I'm like, well, look at my shit. Look at everything I did, you know. Right. So in my mind, when I see a new artist I like, I gotta be like, okay, well, what the fuck did they do? You know right. what I mean? And that's not much. I don't really listen to music. 
But when I there's only a few artists that I've like Caskey I fuck with. Like I can't even oh, think God. of anybody. And dude, it's funny because the people like the only people that I do fuck with is like I find them right before they get huge. And then um, when they get big, I'm like, ah, can't listen to them anymore. Man, I wish I could have found the people I've been listening to like before they got big. Like I just, man, I just, I love I love the the artists that I listen to right now. I love they shit. Like I love them for what they're mm. doing and the shit they because they actually make good shit. Or at least they're like lyrical, huh? Are they lyrical at all? Yeah, yeah, fuck yeah, yeah. fuck yeah. You know that I'm listening. Like, well, I, I haven't listened to much, and I, I see it's kind of coming back to the rap. Is rap-y, it? Rap-y, I don't rap. know. Is it, it literally for me? Well, it's lyrics. Only, it's only like I don't see it. Flows I, might change. Be I, I don't, staying the I don't same. Really, I feel like we're in the age of like flow and cadences. Like I don't really. I, yo, it's, it's gotten to the point where people don't respect lyrics. That's what I think. Because like I, don't, I ain't gonna say. Well, no I names. think we're at the end of that. Is what I mean. Are like we for instance, Niggas when I yeah. saying we going no, into the X Y and Z era. No, when I heard no it's over that's done when um and that's a, it's a very quick phase you got to think everything in music as far as subgenres is happening at such a, a, a way re- more rapid speed than rock music so if you compare the genres and subgenres that came from rock from like classic rock to heavy metal and mm-hmm. punk rock and grunge those are yeah. all different versions you know grunge is different than heavy metal it's way different right. and then punk rock is very different than both of those that's just like subgenres of hip hop with trap hop and then uh, the new age pop, new age hip hop, which would yeah. be like Lil Uzi and them, or you know what I mean. But what I'm saying is, when those genres in rock got changed and were yeah. happening, they were over seven, eight year periods. Okay, this is happening in a year and a half, a year and a half, two years, or fads are going like, you know what I mean? Yeah. So basically, what I'm saying is, when I heard. Nothing against them. Like, it is what it is. Yeah. But when I heard Lil Yachty for the first time in 2016 or seven, I was like, mm-hmm. all right, we got this for four years. We got to deal with whatever's happening now. Because it's coming from, like, a rapper, cypher right. rapper. Yeah. So, like, and I was, I was already planning on doing every genre anyway, so I didn't care. I don't judge, but I just saw where hip-hop was going. Yeah. And that was four years ago. And where we're at now is, like, if you look... When the yeah. shit, if you look at the that time, yeah, I what, see what, a curve. What has happened within those three years? Though, I see a curve. You've seen the I punk. See, yeah. You saw the heavy metal version. You saw the mm. XX. You saw all of that. That's already we're over yeah. that shit now. It's mm. so we've seen enough people jump on stage. I'm telling you, it is coming back. And if anything, these people are gonna have bands on stages at least. Mm-hmm. They're gonna have people playing the songs, not just right. not no DJs doing the shit. Because it did transition from samples, like we were saying earlier. Mm-hmm. Hip-hop is sampling rock and jazz music and all that shit. That's where it started. So now for it to come back and instead of sample to actually play the music and have the bands do it. And the thing that I don't think we'll ever get is like real good singers. Like we'll never know if they're actually really singing without like auto-tune or something. On it. I don't think we'll get that. I don't think we'll get that. I'm talking like some fucking... Whitney Houston. We can get that, bro. We can get all that shit back. It's just the it's just the problem is we're gonna need so much, so many elements of like the different genres to come back collectively. Like we need real hip hop to come back. We need real R and B to come back. We need boy bands. Well, there's also an agenda yeah. though. This is the thing too with these labels, and we're talking about yeah. the, the playlists and and yes. how they're making independent artists starve themselves to get. There's a big thing that goes into it too. You know that that's not a conspiracy. That's a thing that is discussed. You know. That is a real thing in the industry. So all these things come into play, and a motherfucker like me just wants to be on stage every day, whereas other people, they just want to look cool for a little bit, whereas other people, they're really trying to be the best musician they can be or whatever, you know what I mean? So trying to weed it out, and I think you're right. You're right. I, I, I'm going to obviously do all the live shit, but I was waiting until everything's 100% open again because, mm-hmm. like I said, I'm not doing that. So the first cypher I do will probably be in the middle of July. Okay, okay. And my first show will be like a week after that, probably early August. Yeah, just going to run, bro. Just like, yeah. like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Kind of like going on a quick tour. Like, just, hey. Well, no, I was going to do mini city tours. Just do like three days in a row, one in New York, one in Philly, one. Yeah. Up down the coast. That's all. Just like I, I just feel like just go back and just poke motherfuckers and poke them hard, poke them, poke them hard, poke them long. Pause. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like just wake motherfuckers up. You know what I'm saying? Like not no quick shit. Like literally. Mm-hmm. 
go for a run. Like, go for a lap. Go for a lap, man. I promise you. You go for a lap or two. And then you go to the you go dude. To the I have to bring the I have to bring back. dude. I have to bring the town ciphers back too. Like I just mm-hmm. I haven't done a jersey cipher in a minute. Remember we did the Burlington cipher? That was after all of it. I, I'm to the point. I mean, shit. I don't even. What? I, I'm tired. Like I I, I just like on, on some I'm like tired. nah for real. Like on some like I hate even hearing the word cipher because it's like niggas. So do like, I. Like this is what I'm saying. It's not even fun, but. The the barbecue vibe. It ain't that real. It, Niggas the, don't rap. The bro. barbecue vibe. Well, ours they do, but at this. At but the, bro, the we bar- tired. We old as hell. Like it's like it's like weird. Like 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 nigga. Like of course we rap. We the fucking rappers. Where the other rappers at? Yeah. Like I don't. You know how niggas be like, you know, like, like, like motherfuckers be like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm the last of a dying breed. Yo, that shit cool to say. It's cool. It's cool when you say that shit sound cool, bro. That shit is not cool. <laughs> that shit is not cool. Feeling like, nah, well, bitch, no, you dude, really a, well, a this dang, is the thing. I, 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 I want to do, obviously, I got to do open ciphers, though, to mm-hmm. have just anybody pop up to find the new motherfuckers. Right. But a lot of the people rapping on trap shit, when they hear a boom bap beat live, Mm. It like it keeps them from rapping in the cipher, so right. I might have to start in, incorporating some fucking um trap shit to a cipher, which would be fucking weird. Bro, don't but, do that shit. But this is the thing. This is the thing too. When I had the band pull up to a cipher and the band play the backbeat for the music, and boom, bat rappers couldn't do that. It was boom, boom, boom with the fucking reggae vibe. But it, but, but no reggae guitar, not reggae vibe. But the oh, okay. the drum, the drums were boom bat and a reggae sound on guitar on the bass, and the, yeah, and then a bass line. Mm, yeah, that, that shit. I could see how that shit could have threw somebody off. Uh, I can understand with the, but you, like, see, you gotta keep that but, shit but, basic but you as see, hell. You see like, what I mean though? As far as like, the, it's not that different. Like the boom bat beat was still there though. Yeah, with the live with the live band, just but like, it's, it's the just mood. like the boom bat beat. Fucks up the trap people. It's the mood though. That's the, that's what I'm saying. Like as far as like you said, like reggae, like you, like you feel me with the with the bass. It's like yo, that shit can't be too. Oh yeah, no. Sometimes you need some gutter shit. No, nah, to, and, to and, get what you want. And to not say. even that. You just need simple shit. Mm-hmm. Especially like yo, Talk, it was I, sim- trust I need, me, it was simple. It was. Hard. <laughs> you but I'm, did- I'm saying like simple that like like. You know what I'm saying? Simple in a mood, simple. Versus like if I'm hearing a beat and it makes me feel like three different ways, like hell yeah, it's gonna oh shit. I, mm-hmm. Well, fuck, I was trying not to fuck that good. up this entire joint. Well, that's why that's why when I do a cipher, I'll say in the beginning like, "Yo, if you don't like this beat, don't grab the fucking microphone until the beat changes." Because motherfuckers will come up, and be like, "Yo, can you switch the beat?" No, bitch. Wait. He's a I've, I've only had it playing for six minutes. This shit needs to play for six more minutes, yo. I got this shit down pack as far as a live cipher, but those ciphers at Ethic are different than the South Jersey ciphers because those were one by one. Mm. You know what I mean? Remember? But yeah, like just hearing that word does make me like, ah. Yeah, bro. It's like, like, come on, bro. I just want to rage on a stage. I'll tell you what I have been working on. Some shit. Hopefully, I'm going to drop this Friday called 3P3. I don't know when y'all going to see this shit. I don't know. Cause you be doing so much shit, I don't know what you. The only thing I've been keeping up with is the live drones. You, I love them. Well, that's all I've been doing. Yeah, so I'm like, I'm sitting here. I'm like, is he dropping? I've been, well, I've been dropping a podcast, a live John podcast, video podcast, live you podcast see every other. So week. I haven't even known that you. I know you shot podcasts, but I didn't know you was mm-hmm. dropping them. So like, but um, fucking um, yeah. The first they were just kind of just capturing convos for like the first one. The band mm. they they don't they're not at that spot anymore where we recorded the album. So right. we had like a goodbye convo storytelling there. Me and Craig talked. I wanted that. I'm trying. I'm actually like bringing you guys first for a reason too, with, as far as the visual, that. because I want to talk about like where yeah, that was and where we are now and shit. shit. But so you're dropping that on Friday? Yeah, yeah, if y'all watching this, I don't know when y'all gonna get this shit. But Mark, oh shit, I always it, do that, this. That shit. means it'll be out though. Yeah, all right. So by the time by the time people well, see this, it'll yeah. Be out. So May 29th, this Friday, which will be this Friday or Saturday, I'm not sure. Probably one of them. It's really the day. The day ain't important. The date is. It's really about it being May 29th because that's Gucci Day. RP my motherfucking boy. Uh, facts. So I always drop some on Gucci Day, or I try to do something on Gucci Day. I think I dropped three P two last year on Gucci Day. I'm about to drop three P three. 
And I'm spitting on that motherfucker, man. I'm going to be honest. Bar for bar, lyrically, when it really gets to it, it's, it's me, and then it's Kendrick, and then it's old. That's how I feel, and I'm and and it's it's depressing for me to fucking say that. Not that, not that I'm well, necessarily fuck you, man. I'm like right here. Not dude. that I'm even. Not that I'm even. I'm it, kidding. I know. Nah, but I'm saying. I'm <laughs> saying. Nah, even before you was gonna say what you was gonna say. Not even necessarily that I'm like better than everybody. Other like other than the like other than Kendrick and Hove. Not that I'm saying I'm better than everybody, but it's more so less like. I know for a fact I can go to toe to toe with anybody off of the technicalities. Like, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? When it comes to like the skill set, like, have you ever battled? Um, as a kid. Yeah. Besides that. No, nah, no, nah, I ain't in that shit. I just, I don't either. I, I don't either. That's why I did. Like, I'm not saying the word, but that's why I did what? those. What <laughs> ciphers? Oh. <laughs> No, nah, for real though. That's why I did them instead of battles. Last thing I want is two people yelling at each other in front of man, me. Yeah, I like, ain't with that shit, man. I'm sh- like, man, man. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it, it's only like for real for like I'm so I'm soft as hell. Speaking bro. of boxing. I'm soft as hell. Last thing I need is somebody saying some like some personal shit that actually like hurt my feelings. I'm gonna hurt somebody over that yeah. shit, bro. There ain't gonna be no like yeah. like pushy T couldn't do yeah. me like that. I'd rather I'm hear the story you. of your you life to the camera. I'm not trying to Yeah, argue like, you gonna have to talk you. to me I'm about that. Say like, yo, look at your hair. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't, look I don't, at your hairline, bro. But, but you know, I'm capping on, I'm capping on, because I do like I don't rap beef, but I talk about real shit when I'm rapping. So obviously, I might be talking about somebody or a real situation. But well, nah, yeah, that you've gone nah, through. That's, that's yeah, but I've gone through story, it. and I did yeah. it. So it's like whoever the fuck I'm talking about. Yeah, we already beat the beat them the fuck them beat yeah, them the fuck up, punk them out, whatever. You feel? Other than that, I ain't finna speak on it. Mm-hmm. And if I haven't done it yet or addressed that nigga in person, like that motherfucker well, don't know what's up rapper. with me when he see me. I ain't going. They have to be a rapper though, too. Like, rapper, anybody? Nah, anybody for real, for real. I wouldn't even speak on a nigga next door if I ain't. If, I'm not about to speak to you no, on record if I ain't rap, speak yeah. to you in person. I wouldn't mm-hmm. talk about what we went through or what I'm going through with you on a record if I ain't bring it to you in person first. Mm-hmm. You dig what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm gonna talk about whatever. Yeah, I, mean, I seen old boy. You feel me? The other day, I was in this. I brought this shit to his face. So I can bring this shit to my microphone, rightfully, respectfully. Like, who the fuck wants to? But in a situation where I ain't say shit to this person yet, or me, or me and this motherfucker ain't get into it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Nah, I ain't finna uh, rap about it, write a fucking lyric about. Oh that yeah, no, you can't shit. do that. No, yeah. no, yeah, that it has to be a situation shit. that, like, if you're just talking shit so subliminally and nothing got done, then that's one thing. That's like a completely different thing than actually. Done it and puffing your chest up in a way, you know what I mean. Yeah. That's why. That's why I like being. I had a. This is a completely different convo, but mm-hmm. the paradox of being a good person, like being a nice person. I pride myself on being a nice person, right. but when I'm a rapper, I'm allowed to be the biggest fucking asshole <laughs> that I ever wanted to be. I could say anything I fucking want. That's the beauty of rap, for real. Is that I get to say that shit that. Sometimes, otherwise, like obviously, if it's an altercation, that's one situation. But in terms of talking about a bitch or something, like a mm. relationship that went wrong or something, you can never like shout out to Eminem for talking about throwing his wife in the trunk and shit. <laughs> cool. No, that's fucked up because cool. we grew up. My generation grew up hearing that shit, and it, we weren't fucking. Thinking about th- really throwing a bitch in the fucking trunk and shit. Yeah. But when you get a fucking 13 year old breakup, you're like, why? I will throw you in, in the, the trunk. trunk. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a car yet, but <laughs> what I do, it's just fucking funny shit, dude. That's the thing about hip hop, is it gets a different venting out. Like, I never understood heavy metal, like the go, 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 chugga, chugga, chugga. I never understood, I can't listen to that. I'll play, play it, it'll be fun. But I guess that gets us part of that fuck you out of people. Right. That rap gets out for us artistically. That makes sense. It's gnarly. Well, dude, we got to wrap this up because I have a lot I want to talk to you about. And we got to save it for another one. Zen on, zen on. Like, we didn't even fucking get... As long, bro, I just did that shit to watch I feel it. like we didn't even get to where, where I wanted to talk about yet. That's, as that's... long as we washed away the sins of talking about that nut-ass vaccine, I'm cool, <laughs> bro. That's all I wanted to do. Because I was like, we sitting there, we was talking about this. And all I was trying to do was explain my... Explain I fast my, forward, that's fine. Yeah, explain <laughs> my story, explain my reason and my thought process. And, 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 and you feel me? Conclude the disclaimer. That shit went into a whole different shit. I wanted to wash that shit away with the blood of Jesus. 
That's all, <laughs> that's all that was, man. Well, it's Buggy with the Full Circle Podcast. I'm going to have this motherfucker back. We're going to be doing some live joins. Expect him to be... He's definitely going to be on my next show whenever I decide to throw it. So stay posted. I love y'all. See y'all soon. Love you too. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God.